Mordecai and Rigby's adventures are totally bizarre and absurd, but did you know that most of the show's characters are actually based on friends the creator made in college? If I had a cartoon based on the people that I went to college with, it would basically be a non-stop party shit show, so there's no wonder that there's so many dirty jokes in regular show. I'm Whitney Van Lanningham, and today we're gonna ruin your favorite Cartoon Network show by talking about all the dirty jokes. Number six, Muscle Man's Man Boobs in Dead at Eight. In this episode, Mordecai and Rigby are getting real tired of Muscle Man's pussy shit. He keeps chickening out about going down this epic water slide that he built, so the guys try to tease him into doing it because they think he'll just back out again. Unfortunately, Muscle Man ends up crashing into his trailer and almost dying, but before that, he has the ride of his life. Ah, look at those man boobs, flapping gracefully in the wind. Next time, try wearing a sports bra, dude. It'll be a lot more comfy for your tatas. Number five, these glorious butt cheeks in Rigby's body. When Rigby loses his body because he refuses to stop eating junk food, things get a little out of hand. He turns into a weird slime form of consciousness and has to roll around in a trash bucket strapped to a rollerblade in order to find his body and convince his body to let him back in. Along the way, he runs into another consciousness of a former bodybuilder, who tries to steal Rigby's body for his own. When Rigby and the bodybuilder engage in a high-speed chase, the bodybuilder's consciousness gets stuck on a playground slide, and this happens. Yeah! Oh man, my mouth was open! Damn, that kid's buns are tight. Which 80s jazzercise class is he in? Cause I would love to sign up. Number four, Dude time for men in the unicorns have got to go. Like most dudes, Mordecai decides to buy some cologne to attract his crush, Margaret. But instead of buying Axe body spray like literally every other dude on the planet, Mordecai opts for dude time. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Dude time for men. What kind of loser would want a bunch of chicks tearing their clothes off? I don't know, Rigby. I'm pretty sure that guy is living his best life. Number three, Muscle Man gets freaky at Skip's surprise party. When Mordecai and Rigby develop a hankering for some chocolate cake, they decide to throw Skip's a surprise party to get themselves a little free dessert. After they turn out the lights and tell everyone to hide, Muscle Man says this. Hit the lights, it's almost 8 p.m. Skips is gonna be so surprised when he comes in and sees us totally naked. It's not that kind of party, Muscle Man. Oh. I don't know what kind of surprise parties he's been to, but whatever, man. Let your freak flag fly. Number two, the nipple squirting coffee bean and caffeinated concert tickets. In this episode, Mordecai and Rigby are working overtime to afford premium tickets to the fist pump concert. They meet a giant coffee bean wearing just his underwear and his interpreter, who promise to supply the boys with the caffeine they'll need to make it to the show. Coffee, coffee. Eesh, hey! ah! wouldn't that hurt? Boiling hot coffee is probably the last thing I'd ever wanna be able to shoot out of my nipples, although I'm sure it would totally save me a ton of money on buying Starbucks lattes all the time. Number one, Unicorn Slump from the Unicorns of Got To Go. When a group of frat boy unicorns offer to help Mordecai talk to his crush, they trick him into something real gross. Oh, we'll tell you what to do, but first you have to drink from the cup of knowledge. <laughs> oh, sick! What was that? It's definitely not Unicorn Slump. I don't know what unicorn slump is, but it sounds suspiciously like it's glittery jizz. That's all the dirty jokes we have time for today, but I want all of my regular show diehards to talk to me about which dirty jokes we couldn't squeeze into this list. If you liked this episode, check out the rest of our Saturday morning cartoons where I ruin your favorite cartoons with dick jokes. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Obsev.